हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू माई चैनल इन दिस वीडियो वी डिस्कस फॉर्म पेयर ऑफ लीनियर इक्वेशन फाइन दियर सोल्यूशन बाय सब्सिट्यूशन मेथड द गिवन स्टेटमेंट इज द कोच ऑफ अ क्रिकेट टीम बाय सेवन बैट सिक्स बॉल्स फॉर रुपीज थ्री थाउजेंड एट हंड्रेड लेटर शी बाइज थ्री बैट एंड फाइव बॉल्स फॉर रुपीज वन थाउजेंड सेवन हंड्रेड फिफ्टी find the cost of each bat and each ball so in this question we find the cost of one bat and one ball there we suppose let the cost of one bat it is equal to x because that we suppose the cost of one ball and it is equal to y so in question we find the cost of each bat and each ball cost of one bat is x and cost of one ball is y now according to the question according to question the coach of cricket team buys seven bat six balls for rupees 3800 seven seven bat the cost of one bat it is x 7x plus cost of one ball is y and she buys six balls six y Equal to rupees three thousand eight hundred. Later, she buys three bat. Cost of one bat is x. She buy three bat, three x plus five balls. Cost of one ball is y. Five y, three x plus five by. Equal to rupees one thousand seven hundred fifty. So three x plus five by equal to one thousand seven hundred fifty. And this is the pair of linear equation. We mark it as equation number one and this as equation number two. So now from equation number two. From equation two, three x plus five by equal to one thousand seven hundred fifty. So in this we find the value of any variable. You also use equation number one, but in this I am using equation number two, and we find the value of variable x. So three x equal to one thousand seven hundred fifty plus five by transposing to right hand side. So it subtract minus five by, and x is equal to one thousand seven hundred fifty minus five by over. Three, three transposing to right hand side, so it divides, and we mark it as equation number three. Now we find the value of x from equation number two and put this value in equation number one. Put the value of x in equation number one. Put the value of x. And x is equal to one thousand seven hundred fifty minus five by over three. We put this value in equation number one. Equation number one is seven x. Seven into x. X is equal to one thousand seven hundred fifty minus five by over three plus six y equal to three thousand eight hundred. Now we simplify it. Seven multiply by one thousand seven hundred fifty. So when we multiply seven by one thousand seven hundred fifty, we get answer twelve thousand two hundred fifty. Twelve thousand two hundred fifty minus twelve thousand seven hundred fifty. Seven multiply by five, it is equal to thirty five by plus twelve thousand two hundred fifty multiply by five, it is equal to thirty five by plus twelve thousand two hundred fifty. Seven multiply by five, it is equal to thirty five by plus twelve thousand two hundred fifty. Seven multiply by five, it is equal to thirty five by plus twelve thousand two hundred fifty. Seven multiply by five, it is equal to thirty five by plus twelve thousand two hundred fifty. Seven multiply by five, it is equal to thirty five by plus twelve thousand two hundred fifty. Seven multiply by five, it is equal to thirty five by plus twelve thousand two hundred fifty. Seven multiply by five, it is equal to thirty five by plus twelve thousand It is equal to eighteen y equal to three multiply by three thousand eight hundred. So when three is multiply by three thousand eight hundred, we get answer eleven thousand four hundred. Eleven thousand four hundred. Now we transposing twelve thousand two hundred fifty to right hand side. So there is minus thirty five by plus eighteen by. So minus thirty five by plus eighteen by it is equal to minus seventeen by equal to eleven thousand 
400 there is 12250 transposing to right hand side so it subtract it is equal to minus 12250 is minus 17 y minus 17 transposing to right hand side so y is equal to 11400 minus 12250 when we subtract it we get answer minus 850 so there is minus 17 y so we transposing minus 17 to right hand side so it divides minus 850 there is minus sign divide by minus 17 minus minus over take and y is equal to 850 divided by 17 we get answer 50 so y is equal to 50 we put the value of y is equal to 50 in equation number 3 so put the value of y in equation number 3 so equation number 3 is x is equal to 1750 minus 5 into y, y is equal to 50, 5 into 50 over 3 and it is equal to 1750 minus 5 multiplied by 50, it is equal to minus 250 over 3. So 1750 minus 250, it is equal to 1500 over 3 so 1500 divided by 3 we get answer 500 so the value of x is equal to 500 so the value of bat one bat it is x equal to 500 and the value of one ball it is equal to y and it is equal to 50 Thanks for watching, like, comment and share my video, subscribe my channel.